Truth in Science is a United Kingdom-based creationist organization which promotes the Discovery Institute's Teach the Controversy campaign, which it uses to try to get pseudoscientific intelligent design creationism taught alongside evolution in school science lessons. The organization claims that there is scientific controversy about the validity of Darwinian evolution, a view rejected by the United Kingdom's Royal Society and over 50 academies of science around the world. The group is affiliated with the Discovery Institute, the hub of the intelligent design movement, following its strategy and circulating the Institute's promotional materials. Topic. Organization According to the Truth in Science website the organization is run by a board of directors who are advised by a council of reference and a scientific panel. As of 20 June 2007 these are listed as follows. Board of Directors Stephen A. Hyde, Chairman Professor Andrew McIntosh, Professor of Thermodynamics at the University of Leeds, a Christian and creationist. Philip Metcalf, Vice Chairman, a Christian publisher. John Perfect, a teacher. Maurice Roberts, Minister of the Free Church of Scotland continuing and former teacher of classics. Topic: <coughs> Council of Reference. Stuart Burgess, Professor of Engineering Design at Bristol University, has a diploma in theology from the London Reformed Baptist Seminary of the Metropolitan Tabernacle, and is a creationist. John Blanchard, Christian author of popular books including Evolution, Fact or Fiction. Has science got rid of God, and does God believe in atheists? Gerard A. Crispin, a lawyer and director of Daylight Christian Prison Trust. George Curry, minister of Ellswick Parish Church, St. Stephen and St. Paul, Newcastle upon Tyne. David Harding, pastor of Milnero Evangelical Church, Lancashire. Dr. Russell Healy, teacher of mathematics. Derek Lincoln's Professor and Dean Emeritus, Department of Automatic Control and Systems Engineering, University of Sheffield. John MacArthur Pastor of Grace Community Church in Sun Valley, California Albert N. Martin Pastor of Trinity Baptist Church, in Montville, New Jersey Steve Taylor Professor in Micro and Nano Technology at the University of Liverpool Scientific panel Jeff Barnard, Senior Research Scientist, Department of Veterinary Medicine, University of Cambridge Paul Garner, lecturer and researcher with Biblical Creation Ministries. Arthur Jones, science and education consultant. Tim Wells, senior lecturer in neuroendocrinology at Cardiff University. Topic: Critics. The majority of scientists do not consider the conclusions of intelligent design to be scientific. The National Science Teachers Association and others have termed intelligent design a pseudoscience, and some have termed it junk science. 
Little scientific evidence in support of the intelligent design hypothesis has been published in peer-reviewed scientific journals and intelligent design has never produced a single scientifically testable theory. Information pack In September 2006, Truth in Science sent resource packs on intelligent design to the heads of science of all United Kingdom secondary schools. According to New Scientist, 59 schools around the United Kingdom used, or plan to use the Truth in Science information packs. The New Scientist article stated that Truth in Science circulated the material with the intention of countering the teaching of evolution in science classes, and that the information packs, "...promote the notion that life on Earth was created through intelligent design, a euphemism for the biblical story of creation." The BBC News website reported the reaction to the information packs from the United Kingdom Department for Education and Skills. Neither creationism nor intelligent design are taught as a subject in schools, and are not specified in the science curriculum. The National Curriculum for Science clearly sets down that pupils should be taught that the fossil record is evidence for evolution, and how variation and selection may lead to evolution or extinction." DFES spokesperson, BBC News Speaking in the House of Commons, on November 1, 2006, the right hun. Jim Knight, Labour MP for Dorset South, and Minister of State at the Department for Education and Skills, the Minister for Schools, criticized Truth in Science, their information packs, and intelligent design creationism, citing them as unsuitable for the United Kingdom science curriculum. In answer to a question regarding what the Secretary of State for Education and Skills would do in response to the information packs, Knight said, Neither intelligent design nor creationism are recognized scientific theories and they are not included in the science curriculum. The Truth in Science information pack is therefore not an appropriate resource to support the science curriculum. The National Curriculum for Science clearly sets down that pupils should be taught, how uncertainties in scientific knowledge and scientific ideas change over time, the role of the scientific community in validating these changes, variation within species can lead to evolutionary changes, and, similarities and differences between species can be measured and classified. Jim Knight, holding answer the 18th of October 2006, the 1st of November 2006, column 456 W. Topic: Criticism. Topic: Religious. In December 2006, Colin Slee, the Dean of Southwark, said, "...everything needs to be explored, so that children can ask sensible questions. Though I see no huge difficulty with exploring intelligent design or creationism or flat earth, they happen to be misguided, foolish and flying in the face of all evidence." I see no problem with Darwinian theory and Christian faith going hand in hand." Colin Slee, Dean of Southwark, The Times, December 2006. 
Ecclesia, a United Kingdom theological think tank accused Truth in Science and the advocates of intelligent design of misrepresenting the Bible, and that creationism and intelligent design are not on par with accepted scientific theories. According to one Ecclesia contributor, geologist and Anglican vicar Michael Roberts, the material on the Truth in Science website is carefully packaged to hide its young Earth creationist roots. Simon Barrow, co-director of the UK Christian think tank Ecclesia outlined his critique of intelligent design creationism, and pseudo-scientific explanations for the universe. Creationism and ID are in no way comparable to scientific theories of origins and have no place in the modern science classroom. They also distort mature Christian understandings of the universe as coming into being through the whole world process, not through reversals or denials of that process. The roots of creationism, whether in its hard form, or in attenuated ID ideas, lie not in science but in misinterpretations of the Bible. Claims that such notions can be justified from a literal reading of Genesis are nonsensical. This book has not one, but two creation stories. They differ widely in detail, are highly figurative, and were written to combat fatalistic ancient Near East cosmogonies by stressing the underlying goodness of the world as a gift of God, not to comment on modern scientific matters." Ecclesia, 25 September 2006 Secular In response to the introduction of intelligent design to European schools, the Royal Society stated that, "...intelligent design has far more in common with a religious belief in creationism than it has with science," and raised concerns that Young people are poorly served by deliberate attempts to withhold, distort or misrepresent scientific knowledge and understanding in order to promote particular religious beliefs." In a Guardian newspaper article, dated 27 November 2006, Professor Lewis Wolpert of University College London, attacked intelligent design, and the ambitions of truth in science. There is just no evidence for intelligent design, it is pure religion and has nothing to do with science. It should be banned from science classes. In October 2006, a science organization called Science, Just Science reviewed the DVD information packs sent by Truth in Science to the heads of science at all United Kingdom secondary schools in September 2006. The arguments are presented in the style of an educational film, and are generally presented among needlessly lengthy scientific descriptions and impressive visuals, which help to make creationist arguments sound reasonable to anyone without scientific training in the relevant disciplines. Anyone familiar with creationists will recognize their standard tactics including appeals to emotion, argument from ignorance, misdirection and occasionally blatant falsehoods. Science, just science, October 2006. The UK pro-science advocacy group British Centre for Science Education has condemned attempts to introduce the teaching of creationism at British schools. BCSE protested when Truth in Science sent information packs to every UK secondary school in September, 2006. 
In a letter to the editor, published in Financial Times, E. and Low of BCSE, expressed concern that creationism could possibly flourish even in Britain, while Mike Brass, chairman of BCSE, said in a letter to The Guardian, Intelligent design ID is creationism dressed up in a tux to sneak into our science classrooms. On October 11, 2006, a reader, Chris Preeti, wrote a letter to the Times newspaper highlighting scientific errors on the Truth in Science website, including that the organization denies the evolution of bacterial flagellum. In response, Richard Bugs of the Truth in Science Scientific panel published a letter in the Times stating, I do not know of a good evolutionary pathway for the development of the bacterial flagellum. In his latest book, Professor Richard Dawkins identifies a single possible intermediate step. This hardly constitutes a pathway. See also Center for Science and Culture Creation-Evolution Controversy Critical analysis of evolution Emanuel Schools Foundation Evolution as theory and fact Misunderstandings of evolution National Center for Science Education <laughs> <laughs>